Internet Protocol version 6, or IPv6, offers a much larger networking address scheme, which is why it was developed in the first place. And for the most part, it works great. I have, however, run into circumstances where IPv6 cause problems, such as with older routers. When this happens, what do you do? Well, if you're using the Linux platform, there are ways to temporarily disable IPv6. I'm going to show you how to do this with both the Red Hat-based and Debian-based distributions. Let's see how. Here's how to disable the protocol on a Red Hat-based system. Open a terminal window. Change to the root user. Issue the command syscontrol space dash w space net dot ipv6 dot conf dot all dot disable underscore ipv6 equals one. Issue the command syscontrol space dash w space net dot ipv6 dot conf dot default dot disable underscore ipv6 equals one. To re-enable IPv6 on a Red Hat-based system, issue the following commands. syscontrol space dash w space net dot ipv6 dot conf dot all dot disable underscore ipv6 equals zero. syscontrol space dash w space net dot ipv6 dot conf dot default dot disable underscore ipv6 equals zero. Here's how to disable the protocol on a Debian-based system. Open a terminal window. Issue the command sudo nano etsy syscontrol.com. Add the following to the bottom of the file net.ipv6.conf.all.disable underscore IPv6 equals 1. Net.ipv6.conf.default. Disable underscore IPv6 equals 1. Net.ipv6.conf.lo. Disable underscore IPv6 equals 1. Save and close the file. Reboot the machine. To re enable IPv6 on a Debian based system, simply remove the above lines from the Etsy syscontrol.conf and reboot the machine. If you happen to use X forwarding through SSH, disabling IPv6 can break this system. To fix that issue, you must open the file forward slash etsy forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore config with your favorite editor. And change the address family any to address family inet. If the line doesn't exist, add it to the bottom of the file. Save that file and restart sshd with the command sudo system control restart sshd. If you use the Postfix mail server, you could encounter issues with the service starting. To fix this, you have to use an IPv4 loopback. Open the Etsy Postfix main.cf file.
and comment out the local host line. Now, add the IPv4 loopback like so. Save and close the file. Now, restart postfix with the command sudo system control restart postfix. And there you go. IPv6 is temporarily disabled. Now this is not an ideal solution, but sometimes you have to be creative when you're fixing problems. I highly recommend that you only use this temporarily until you can get your IPv6 issues straightened out. Until then, happy disabling.